What is up guys, Joel here back with another video and today we'll be checking out iOS 10 beta 2 and see what new features have been added or what has been tweaked here and there in iOS 10. Now for those of you who are wondering or will be asking when they can install iOS 10 or how can they get it, there's going to be a public beta available in July which is this month so I'd say expect it in the next two weeks when beta 3 is released. But the final release of iOS 10 will be available in the fall, so that's when you can actually install it on your iOS device if it is compatible for iOS 10. Now, if you want to check the major iOS 10 features, I did make a previous video that you can find in the links down below in the description. That goes more hands-on with iOS 10 and the major features that are available or that will be available in iOS 10. Anyways, with iOS 10 beta 2, there have been a couple of improvements we're going to start off with the organ donation. So in the health application, now you'll be able to sign up and register to be an organ donor. So you'll be able to input your details and send your registration information to Donate Life America. So this is fairly new, something that Apple recently announced like days prior, and it is now available in the health application to become an organ donor. Next is the addition of being able to change your preferences in the messages app to low quality image mode. So now if you go into the settings and then go to messages, you can now toggle on low quality image mode. This is gonna be very useful for those of you who either are low in data or don't have a fast connection. Then having low quality image mode on will load the image faster and also preserve your data. Now the next addition is the iMessage app store. So initially in beta one, you would be able to select your classic Mac icons to send as a sticker, but now you have other apps that you can download to your iMessage application, things like hearts, hands, or smiley sticker packs, so you can send those as messages as well now. So now we also have the feedback application, which allows iOS 10 beta testers to send direct feedback to Apple so they can review and tweak up things here and there. Uh, that are either buggy or things like that. Now in the initial release of iOS 10 beta 1, we did have a new feature called widgets where you can view them either from your lock screen by swiping over to the right or by unlocking your device and being on the home screen and then swiping over to the right. You'll be able to see different widgets, but those were the only two ways to access widgets. But with beta 2, they added the ability to swipe down on your notification center and swipe over. So now you can access widgets from any application. Now when it comes to the maps application, there is now a toggle in the map setting that shows your park location. So when this feature is on, your park car will now be shown on the map if your location can be determined when parking. Now it does note that a connection to your car's Bluetooth or CarPlay stereo is required. Now there's other subtle changes like in the mail application, there's a new filter icon and I didn't show this in the initial iOS 10 video, but now you'll be able to filter your mail messages. So if you toggle this little icon right here on the bottom left, you can filter your messages by toggling it on and then view all your unread messages. Now some other subtle changes is in control center with 3D touch enabled devices. You'll be able to 3D touch the icons at the bottom of control center. So you can toggle your flashlight to either bright light, medium light, or low light. And also on the clock app, when you 3D touch, you will now see that there's icons also displayed on there. So you can set a timer there. And when you 3D touch on the calculator application, it'll, it'll allow you to copy the last result. And on your camera, you'll be able to take a photo, record slow-mo, record video, or take a selfie. But now they all display little icons next to it. Now when it comes to unlocking your device, there's a subtle change to the text animation on the status bar. Now you will notice that when you unlock your device, instead of the lock screen just simply disappearing, it will now have a new animated unlock text appear in the status bar right before the home screen is shown. Now speaking about unlocking your device with iOS 10, the way to unlock your device, if you have a Touch ID enabled device, you will have to press the home button in order to open or unlock your device. Now with iOS 10 beta 2, they've added a new little feature that you can toggle on in the settings where you can now rest your finger to unlock your device. So instead of pressing the home button now, you, you can easily lay your finger on it and then it'll unlock, similar to how we had it in previous iOS. Now when it comes to the music application, there has been some subtle changes as well. Now the downloaded music section has been changed to just downloads. Also, you now get the option to shuffle in the song section. And also with the initial release of iOS 10 beta 1, the music application had very large text 
and that's something that I didn't really enjoy. It, it just looked horrible. But now with iOS 10 beta 2, you can tweak the actual size of the text by going into your settings and display and then changing the size. So now I think it looks a lot better and the music app, the redesign has actually started growing on me. Initially when I started using iOS 10, I was not a fan, but now it kind of seems to make sense. Also in the music application, when you are playing a song and you go to the now playing section, you will be able to change the different source or the different Bluetooth or AirPlay device that it's playing on directly from the now playing screen. So instead of going to control center, swiping over and selecting the Bluetooth or AirPlay option, you can now do it directly from the music app, which is convenient. Also in the music application, if you go to the For You tab, if you scroll down, you will now see the connect post from artist. So you can see what the latest is with the artist that you follow. Now, when it comes to the watch application in iOS 10, when you go into the face gallery, you now have an additional featured complication section. So you'll be able to see different configurations with your favorite complications and get an idea of where to set them at or things like that, or just get different watch faces with the certain complication that you use the most. And additionally to the watch app, you now have the background app refresh settings by going into general and then background app refresh. So you can select which application specifically will refresh in the background. Another subtle change is in the notification center. So on your notifications, you will notice that it says recent where it used to say missed. Now we also have some updated icons when it comes to the Apple TV and AirPlay speakers in the AirPlay section of Control Center. And we also now have an updated HomeKit app icon in the settings application. So you will notice you have the little house or, or an orange house now. Um, that's another subtle change. And next on the iPads, it now supports split view for the App Store, which wasn't able to be done in previous iOS. But now you can do split view with the App Store and then have another app running right next to it. And something else that I did not cover with the iPad in my initial iOS 10 features video is the fact that you can now run dual Safari pages right next to each other in split view. So by simply press and holding the tab, you can slide it over to one of the sides and then it'll go into split view for Safari. Also now when it comes to 3D touch enabled devices, when you 3D touch in a folder, it'll now show badges for the unread notification per app. Now speaking about 3D touch, if you have a non 3D touch device, it now supports the interactive notifications. So when you, for instance, get a text message, Normally with a 3D touch enabled device, all you have to do is 3D touch it and it'll expand and it'll give you interactive notifications. But now by simply sliding down, you'll now have interactive notifications as well. So you don't have to have a 3D touch device in order to get that feature. Now with iOS 10 beta one, you were able to delete a lot of stock apps or I should say hide them, not fully delete them. But now you are able to also delete the Apple News application by simply holding down and then deleting it, or I should say hiding it from your home screen. Now going back to widgets, it has improved because in the original release of beta one, the way they were displayed was kind of off. They needed to be resized because some of the information was cut off when it came to certain widgets. But now it seems to have fixed that because the widgets now are resized to display all the information that's needed. And lastly, we have another subtle change in the settings application where the auto unlock setting has moved from going in the general section now to the display and brightness section. But other than that, those are gonna be majority of the new features or tweaks here and there. Now, if you did find any new tweaks or other tweaks that I did not mention here or other features, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Now there is gonna be additional videos covering more iOS 10 features and tweaks as there will be more betas released in the future up until the fall release of iOS 10. So definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel. But other than that, if you did enjoy the video, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And if you're not following me on social media, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff, all of my links are down below in the description. That way you'll be up to date with what is going on. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified every time I come out with a new video. Other than that, guys, as always, appreciate the support very much. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.